Welcome, I'm Dr. Netta Owens. I'm one of the advisors on the Health and Science Advisory Board, and I'm also one of the Love and Health experts. Today I will be talking about women's orgasm problems. And that is quite a common concern that I deal with in my office. Um, some women come, usually young women, who have never had an orgasm in their life. And then I also see women who maybe have had orgasms in the past and for some reason lost the ability to have orgasms. And I um, also sometimes deal with women who maybe have noticed a different sensation with the orgasm and maybe even painful orgasms. And I do want to mention up front that if that is something that's happening to you, you really need to seek help for that because there are things we can do about it. And sometimes as a woman approaches menopause and maybe even after she has had been going through menopause for a while, she might suddenly experience pain during orgasms. It's not very common, but it's important to seek help for that. And then also as a woman ages, sometimes the sensation changes a little bit and, and it, it's actually considered a normal change of aging. Uh, so there really, there can be many different reasons for why a woman has a hard time or cannot at all reach orgasm. And some of them might be physical, some of them could be psychological, and I'll deal with all of these a little bit. Um, basically, the, the physical causes, so related to the body, usually have something to do with the blood flow. And it's the blood flow to the genitals. And um, again, as someone gets close to menopause or have, actually has gone through menopause, sometimes the blood flow changes and um, also if someone has high blood pressure that can affect the ability to reach orgasm or diabetes diabetes also long term can affect the blood vessels and any kind of trauma to the pelvis and really any condition that is related to poor blood flow can interfere with the ability to reach orgasm and I want to right here um, show you something called Gynaflex. This is a, um, a device that it comes, there are two different types of, of um, Gynaflex. They all come in the same package and one of them has a very low resistant and this one is much harder to press. So what the woman does, she inserts this in her vagina and squeezes just with her pelvic floor muscles, not using her hands or anything, tries to squeeze this. And then after a few weeks, she might be ready to try this much, much harder resistance. And it's a way, and this Gynaflex, there are different types on the market, but I'm, I just happen to have this one in my office. It comes with a lubricant, it comes with a little booklet. And basically, so what this does, it helps the woman to do Kegel exercises against the resistance. And that will simply help the blood flow to the genitals and, and it might improve the ability to reach orgasm. And um, this is something that also can be really helpful for women who have had babies. Um, then there's another thing on the market, and I, unfortunately I don't have a, a sample that I can show you, but it's called the Eros device. And, and I'm not sure that you can see this at all here, this is a brochure. It's basically a small device that you hold in your hand and it has a tiny little suction cup. So the suction cup is, is held against the clitoris and it causes suction. It sucks more blood flow into the clitoris. And it's a device that's not cheap. It's, it's about $400 and insurance companies usually don't pay. This is in the United States. Um, but, and, it, and you need a prescription um, to get it from your doctor. Um, but it, it can help some people, especially for women who have a hard time getting aroused. It's certainly something that you can consider. Now there are a lot of products on the market and um, I think we have all seen ads on the internet, on television, um, talking about magic creams and, and so on. And, and I really, at this point, only recommend two different products. And the reason I recommend them is that these products have been scientifically tested. They have been tested in, in scientific studies and they were both shown to significantly improve the person's, the woman's ability to reach orgasm. And the one, um, this is a topical agent, it's called Zestra. And you will find the link on the website to, to their website. And it's something that you can probably get in the United States 
over the counter in, in pharmacies and so on. And it's a massage oil that you apply to your clitoris and it causes increased blood flow to the area. It causes a tingling sensation. And so this has been shown scientifically that it will um, improve the ability to reach orgasm for women. The other product, and again, I don't have any samples, but I have a little brochure, it's called Argin Max. And this is a nutritional um, compound. So this is something you take by mouth. And again, the people who, who developed this tested it in a scientific study and showed that there was an, a significant improvement of sexual function overall, including the ability to reach orgasm. And that was after people had taken this drug, uh, this pill for four weeks. So those are two uh, products that I recommend. I don't really recommend anything else right now. These two products have been tested scientifically. Now, um, when I see a woman in my office who has never had an orgasm, I take a long time talking to her. I take 90 minutes at least uh, to try and find out what is her, what are the different circumstances. And the very first question I ask her, and I ask every client who comes to my office this question is, do you take any drugs? And um, because this is a book called Sexual Pharmacology, I've showed it before, it lists all the drugs that cause um, sexual problems or sexual, have sexual side effects. And um, it's very important to hear whether someone is taking medication, and especially with orgasm. If, if a woman, for instance, is taking um, antidepressants, the SSRIs are very likely to make it hard to reach orgasm for women and men. And then I also ask, um, have you ever had an orgasm? Some women don't really know what to expect from an orgasm. Some women actually think that they are going to see fireworks and it's a huge experience, it's a full body experience. And I, I talk to them about what an orgasm feels like and that even any tiny little twitch in your genital muscles, that's an orgasm and, and it's, it's okay to Orgasms are not always major, and um, so that's important to talk about what is an or orgasm like. Um, I asked them a number of questions, I'm not going to go through all of these, but just to give you an idea what some of the things are that can impact the ability to reach orgasm, I asked them, are you afraid of losing control when it happens? Some women are very afraid of either looking strange or making weird sounds. They're afraid of that feeling that they, they don't want to quite let go and, and go there. Uh, and I asked them, what do you think about? Do you think about the shopping list? Do you think about what you have to, what kind of groceries you have to get? That's not good, of, of course. So you need to focus on the sensations. Try to get into the, the um, sensations that you're feeling and, and don't think about, don't let yourself distract from that. Um, I ask, and this is very important, do you have desire for sex? If, if a woman doesn't really have any interest in sex, it can be really hard to get aroused and to the point that you can reach orgasm. I ask her, do you get, do you lubricate, do you get wet? Um, that's a sign of arousal. If, again, if she has a very hard time getting aroused, it might be difficult for her to get all the way to orgasm. Um, I asked her, are you satisfied with the situation? Are, are you distressed? Actually, some women come in, they don't really care whether they will have an orgasm or not, but their, their partner cares. And maybe the partner feels um, feels incapable of, you know, and, and doesn't like the feeling that, that his or her partner doesn't reach orgasm. So, and usually what I find is if the person wants to reach orgasm for herself, it's very different. It's a different type of motivation than when she comes in because of pressure from her, her partner. Um, so I also ask, this is a question I ask in, in all kinds of situations, has any physical or emotional trauma happened to you? Um, any kind of sexual negative experience, molestation, rape, uh, anything negative can, can affect the ability to reach orgasm. Uh, another question is, do you feel attracted to your partner? If, if someone is not very attracted to their partner, it can be difficult to get aroused and, and get to orgasm. What about your own body image? If she feels very 
bad about her body, she can't really enjoy, she can't really relax, that can be another reason for why she can't um, reach orgasm. And then I asked them to, or her to describe to me a typical encounter. Tell me what you guys do when you, when you have sex. And the reason I need to know that is, is there's a big difference whether it takes two minutes and uh, he thrusts for two minutes, ejaculates and rolls over and falls asleep. That's very hard for a woman to reach orgasm in that time. Or if she tells me, yes, we do oral stimulation, we, we use oral sex, I, he, stimul he uses his hands, he tries everything on, on earth. So that's of course a different scenario and I usually need to know the details in order for me to be able to get them some specific feedback and some suggestions that I can think of how they might be able to, to try um, to get there. And one thing about, I'm just thinking now when I say to get there, it's sometimes really hard because the person is so focused on trying to want to reach orgasm that she gets really tense about it. And I, I usually say, just, just relax, just relax, because the more you relax, the easier it will be for you to reach orgasm. If you get very tense and uptight about it, you might not ever get there. Um, let me show you some of the books and, and that I share with my clients. I actually have a tape that I let people take, take home. It's called Celebrating Orgasm. And Betty Dodson uh, did this tape. And it's very, very helpful for my clients to, to see this tape because actually what they see in this tape is def different scenes of women um, using a vibrator. And actually what Betty Dodson uh, uses is this um, magic wand and and she basically sits next to the client and helps them um, to reach orgasm and she talks about breathing and so on so this is a very very helpful tape for my clients and um, another book that i like is and that's fairly well known is called becoming orgasmic it's by hyman and lo piccolo it's been around for quite a few years it has a lot of exercises that the person can basically read the book and follow all the exercises and and many many women have been able to reach orgasm because of this book another book that is that i like a lot is called pathways to pleasure and it's written by dr robert birch and cynthia lee Ruberg. and both of these people are um, love and health experts they have written um, answered some questions on, on the channel and uh, so this is another book called Pathways to Pleasure that I recommend.